The many uses of studying aerodynamic drag are vast. From designing new vehicles that slip through the air, to understanding how a projectile in sports moves, those that study this field have a wide range of areas to apply their expertise. In this video, we will discuss the drag formula. Aerodynamic drag is the resistance that is caused when an object moves through air. A simple way to think about aerodynamic drag is this. Picture yourself driving down a road with your arm stretched out the window, and open and palm facing forward. The resistance you are feeling against your hand is aerodynamic drag. The drag formula is this. We may use this formula to show air resistance on a car as it moves down the highway. As we can see, the aerodynamic drag increases with the square of the velocity. Thus, as the speed in which you drive down the highway increases, the energy needed increases exponentially. So more fuel is used as the car goes faster. The drag coefficient is a dimensionless value that is used to quantify the drag or resistance of an object. It is used to model the complex dependencies that shape has on drag. It is represented by the symbol C sub D in the equation. Drag coefficient is determined using a controlled environment such as wind tunnel. The drag formula is then transposed in order to determine the drag coefficient. Here are the drag coefficients for some common shapes and objects. Drag also increases with an increase of surface area. If we were to return to the example of sticking our hand outside the window of the car, we can see that drag increases as we turn our palm forwards. This is due to the increase in the area that is facing the wind. The arrows behind the hand represent the aerodynamic wake. As we rotate our hand so that our palm faces down, the surface area hitting the air decreases and thus the drag decreases. This is demonstrated by the smaller wake behind the hand. We can see the effect of area A on drag in the formula. The rho symbol represents the mass density of the fluid in the formula. This allows the drag formula to be used on projectiles that move through fluids, such as water. Water is 1000 times more dense than air. Here is a comparison of atmospheric pressure, or mass density, of the air on Mars versus Earth. As you can see, the air is much thinner on Mars. Vehicles moving through the Martian atmosphere would have less aerodynamic drag acting on them as compared to Earth. For more information on this subject, as well as other aerospace-related topics, please visit us at www.sigmarockets.com.